Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use embedded commands uh, to enhance your persuasion. So if you're curious about how to use NLP to become more influential, this is the video for you. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get more life-changing videos like this one. So a lot of people get drawn to NLP because of this really sexy term, embedded commands. And most people have no idea how to begin using embedded commands. And so I want to offer you a framework so that you can start to use embedded commands more effectively in your interactions in the areas of your life that you want to uh, become more influential. The only thing that I would encourage you to realize is that we have not been taught how to think about embedded commands. We have not been taught how to think about uh, neurolinguistic or hypnotic communication for that matter. So yeah, you can use uh, language uh, patterns. You know, you can have all your quotes and your Milton model and all that, but it's not enough to throw a snowball of commands at people, although that can be very effective. You have to understand how people naturally take action. So I want to introduce you to this acronym, uh, F-A-T, FAT, that you can begin to put this into your mindset when you're out there to influence. So FAT, F-A-T, stands for Feel, Act, Think. And I want you to start to use that acronym as you are beginning to embed commands. So I want you to start to ask yourself, what is the situation in which you would like to become more influential? And what is the action that you want that person to take? How do you want them to think about taking that action? And how do you want them to feel while they're taking that action? So now that you have that structure, now you're ready to begin using embedded commands. So for example, let's say I'll use a classic hypnosis example, right? Let's say that we're talking and I want you to begin to go into a trance or I want you to start to relax, right? So I might begin to think I want that person to feel relaxed. What does someone feel as they relax? They feel their muscles relaxing. They feel the tension leaving their body. They feel at ease. They, maybe they feel their um, breathing change. Uh, maybe the tension in the jaw relaxes. Maybe their eyes start to defocus. So I'm gonna think about what does a person feel as they relax? And then how do they act? What do you do as you're relaxing? And then how do you think when you start to relax? And when people typically, when they relax, their internal dialogue slows down. They begin to speak slower to themselves on the inside. The tone of their internal dialogue softens just enough for you to start to feel more relaxed. So if I wanted to use embedded commands in, within a conversation to help someone start to relax, you know, it could be something as simple as, what's it like when you find yourself feeling really relaxed? I don't know if you've ever had the experience where for whatever reason you were able to just take all the tension in your body and just let that go to the point where on one of those breaths, you just notice that your breathing is easier. And I don't know whether your body relaxes first or if your internal dialogue, like if your thoughts just begin to slow down. If that happens before or after, you notice that the tension in your jaws let go completely. And you just kind of say to yourself, it's almost like a very like, it's almost like you just say, ah, oh, inside your mind. And so what you can do is you can start to build that into your language. In a sales situation, right, we would be thinking about, hmm, uh, we want this person to feel curious. So how does that person need to feel when they're curious? What do they do when they're curious with their body? Do they lean in a little bit, right? What do they think to themselves? Hmm, I have to find out more. So I don't know if you've ever been watching a video where for some reason something inside you just started to bring, ignite that powerful curiosity to the point where you said to yourself, I have to find out more about this. And if that's the case, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get more life-changing videos like this one.